All right, welcome to the third episode of The Grind. We got the DA in the house here. We're about to go out and uh, get started today. So hopefully this episode will give you some insight into what it's all about to be the DA, which uh, is just gonna be a lot of fun. Here we go. All right, so we're in uh, doing some mobility work. I'm sorry, I said Brett and David. And uh, Stevens talking to somebody, and we're being too loud. Let's get the lights off in here because I'm such an albino. I can't handle the damn fluorescent lights. You want lights, David? No, I'm good, man. Oh, then it keeps me in that like yeah, sleep state. Okay. No, seriously, like I was, I kept getting like dry skin on my forehead, and I couldn't figure it out. Because I was sitting under that light the whole time, so I just literally shut it off for a couple days and never got it again. Dude, they're horrible. I hate them. Yeah, we can do a protein fat. So, it, like, I typically get like a little bottle of it for about eight bucks, and it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to find, and it's it's just a really good polyunsaturated fat, and it's also got a lot of um, omega threes in it, which are going to be big. So, the fish oil capsules have the omega threes, and your um, uh, flax oil is going to have omega threes. We're just going to try to get as much omega threes in because you need to balance your omega threes and omega. So in the off season, every off season for David, any other pro guys that come in, I do customization on the programming. We measure them out so we know where all their measurements are: speed, strength, power, mobility, and then I program where where we want to go. So for David this year, we're going to go to 245. So I, I programmed in some. A linear progression to build strength and hypertrophy and then um, same time too working Olympic technique and stuff but uh, then we're gonna go and try to convert that into a lot of power obviously a lot of speed we want to generate more momentum down the mountain for him I think what's held him back um, from you know getting way up to the mid 90s more consistently in the mid 90s because you know he, he's touched in the mid 90s but more consistently in the 90s is he's he just slowed down out of his leg lifts when he was throwing his hardest upper 90s very dynamic very quick into his leg lifts so uh, that's that's what we're focusing on so i want him to come in at 245 this year when he's normally 225 and i want him to have more power in his body or just strictly on the fact of is he's moving that at the same speed he's gonna have more power uh, so that's that's the kind of prog programming that we put in this off season, um, not specifically, you know, David works a little bit with Steven. Steven now is starting to do a lot of the um, nutritional programming, meal planning and stuff like that. This is all stuff that um, is really kind of after, it's a next step from the 3X Pitching Velocity program. So those programs are great for getting guys started and getting them in this approach. Um, and then the uh, a top level of it is customization. So. So I actually felt myself. I mean, you started moving your body better, right? Well, I felt I felt my back leg actually beginning the process, and, and and I could feel it driving forward, and then my front leg kicking, kicking back. Like that was the first time when I was on when, when I was standing up, it was hard feeling that back leg actually drive. Or move. So what what could we do this off season to get back to you know better speeds, even on the metros? Steve, heads up. Um, uh, 
it's uh, dorsiflexion's got to be big. Got to be big for me. Dorsiflexion, being able to be comfortable into the back leg, really feel that back leg rows. And having, being able to put so much more weight just on the back leg and sit yeah. comfortable. And then at the same time, get everything going. Converting it. Converting it faster. So faster, did you faster. feel good on your front leg? I, I like that. The front yeah. leg, I really like just that. Just constantly being like in this position. I think we need to, I all need the to time just do it all the time. Yeah. Land, close, my front leg, front knee, front hip. Like essentially close where it's not opening up like it did this year. Right. You know, we'll not let that happen. Absolutely refuse to let that happen. Right. But I like, especially on the back leg, I was finally starting to feel the conversion. I think and first I, day too, man. First day getting back into it. Yeah. It's and gonna I, feel like I haven't done it. Which and I, I saw you doing it when you would load. You were you were using. So that's one thing I've been focusing on more now is is momentum first and then power. So when you when you lift, it's not just immediate power. It's momentum and then power. Because if we sit there and just go use power, yeah, we're gonna be slow. You're gonna be yeah, because like you, there's movement. no way you're gonna be able to compete with someone like Syndergaard who's using all that momentum and then peaking power. If I tried to just try to peak power in a clean, you, that's why you pull up and yeah. then and then you peak because you, you get, get that, that momentum. momentum going and then wham. And that's yeah. that's why a lot of the lifters when we talked to Matt Bruce and stuff, they talked about how within the first two seconds of it or first two inches of it off the ground, they know whether they got it or not because right. they know whether they have it's the moving. momentum. Yeah, they know if they've got the momentum to work right. to be able to drive because they know they have the power. Right. They know they can get it up, but they know whether the second it's off the ground, whether they and they haven't used power yet. Right. So I think getting, I think you do that well though. But if you if you look at 09, you did it better then than as you've aged. So. It's trying to get back to my, that just my body just moves so much faster cruising well i same thing too i think your joints could handle more loads back then so now that you're getting all this strength it's just getting those joints to handle those loads this joint to handle the load and drive through it and then the front leg to be able to stop all that momentum without a doubt when you start to struggle you're good here but when you, when you struggle it's like it's that separation right getting there. back here even in this position, put your hip up hard and feel that move your arm.
driving the chase. You gotta stay low to have all that time and that or that flexion to drive it through. You start getting up here, you don't, you don't have anything to put through. So you're saying that it's still lower. That's something that I don't think you've ever gotten good at with this med ball. So I think if we make any kind of headway with it, I think it's going to be a big benefit. No, I think it, it directly correlates to my arm. Half when I'm throwing. When I get it here, yeah. my arm is up. And that was that, remember when we, that first year, you're always like, I just don't feel that hit my arm, right? And that's it, right there. Thank you. 
So what value do you see in your feet straight? So the value I see in the feet straight, one, is that I am, I struggle with it. That's my bad, right? Like I'm not doing it well. So my value is, is if I can do that and, and become good at that, mm -hmm. and then I'm improving myself immensely. I'm improving myself more than if I just sit in a lateral throw and I'm already yeah. good at a lateral throw and keep improving my lateral throw, great, but everything else isn't necessarily but Here's better. my thing is, and I'm right there with you because we don't believe in crutches, but if it's so challenging that you can't even do it right, then you got to kind of pull it back a little bit. Well, yeah, yeah, step back and, and, and get better in inches instead of feet right. and, and, and create a better product. Do you feel end. like you can get better in inches in the feet straight? Without a doubt. All right. Without a shot. So do your lateral. Could have been better from that winner. Yeah. Yeah, that actually is alright. Yeah, I think the best, best well, linear, throw, linear throw I've had the whole time. I think the challenge is the linear, you get less force through the hip so you have to do better at separating without a doubt and then in the laterals right well you're getting more because you're getting lateral i can get more into what i've always done with a little knee slam a little right. drive and kind of combine and everything it pushes all those and it through. pushes and i get i get better body my body's moving a lot better so the, the lateral throw forces me into better like dorsiflexion which i'm not good at driving my back the knee which which i'm not great at drive my hip, which I'm not good at now, which and, and it creates at. more um, hit the shoulder separation, yeah. which I'm not good at. But then so when it you kind go of hits a whole lot of things that I'm not good at, that's why I like it. But as long as I'm making my front side stay closed and making that that front leg land in that closed position, and I and right before or in the right when I drive is when it opens. That's what I'm going for. But if I'm driving and my front leg flies open and then that causes everything to go, then it's important. Right. That's the challenge where if you're in your linear foot drives, if you, because it's harder to generate the force, if you're not connected well, then you start overcompensating, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we I'll can't allow that overcompensating. Start moving way more weight on my front side, you know, using that trunk more. So I'm overcompensating by with the, and then I add in the things I'm already good at, using my trunk, and and instead of actually correcting what I'm not bad at, and then create better um, each time, get a little better, and then add in the trunk and add in the stuff that I'm good at. So then you're getting a better product overall. All right, I just finished our throws. We're heading on over to lift. So David's the challenge right now is for him to get his energy back from the throws uh, because we want to go in and have a good lift. We're trying to gain mass. So if you lose a lot of energy in your throws, you want to try to have 
kind of a good rest and rebuilding period because we've got to then go in and really crush the lifts. He's doing a lot of tempos and stuff, which if he's not, if he doesn't have a lot of energy, he's just gonna lose his intensity and then he's gonna have a hard time, um, you know, building mass at that point. I mean, it's all, you know, it's you've gotta go, really gotta go hard with him. So the, the other challenge too is he hasn't been doing these throws, so now he's, his calorie consumption needs to go up because he's burning a lot more. So it's another big challenge uh, that we need to focus in on. So here we go. Going in the All I know is that just need up. All I know is you just need up. All I know is we just need up. All I know is you just need up. takes it out of you, man. When you're doing squats and freaking slow tempos and then you go to that, that just kills it. God dang. Good shit though, good shit. What's great about being here, having all these guys, man, so much better than being at home by yourself. And you're just sitting there and having to self-motivate constantly. Being around a group of guys is great. It's like a refresher. You know, it gets me motivated again to see, see young guys work their ass off. I love it. It's awesome, man. I feel like you have to surround yourself with people that want it, too. People that are going to make you better. You make them better, they make you better. You're constantly by yourself, man. You need a, you're not gonna do it. You need a, a support system. You need people like this. People willing to go to that extra level, that extra step with you. Support you, pick you back up when you miss a rep. And you're right there to pick them up. Good man. Starting to tear. So it's starting to get there. down. I didn't want to get up. I was thinking, get my knees out and I'm like, my body doesn't want to get, even go anywhere. 
I saw you try it though, like on the first two. I saw you like try to feel it out, see how it felt. Yeah. Better. Better here. Just there, obviously. 